Okay, number three, convert each of the following radical expressions into an expression with a single simplified exponent. All expressions represent real numbers. So we want a fraction exponent. The difference here is we have 2x and we would write this, which we don't have, as the 2 and the x stay together and those are both to the first power. So when we write this, 2x is going to be our base, and I'm going to put that in parentheses because they're both included, and then the 1 is the numerator, and the 5 is the denominator in our exponent. And this would be our answer. We have one exponent that's going to both of these, but we're not going to simplify it anymore. So same thing on this one. The 6 and the y stay together, and those are both to the first power. We have that invisible one. And then remember, when there's no index, it's 2. So we're going to take 6y, and then numerator, denominator, 1 half. All right, on this one we have a lot more numbers. Remember, this is 10 times this. So this is 10 times the fourth root, and then 7z stay together, and those are to the first power. So when I write it, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm going to do 10, and then times 7z, and then my exponent only goes to the 7z. And it's to the 1 fourth because the 1 and then the 4 make up the fraction.